Hey everyone and welcome to Car Confections. Today we're going to be going through our favorite three row luxury SUVs. This is really a class of vehicle that is just a joy to be in regardless of which one you pick on this list. Uh, it's awesome, awesome vehicles. But you know, since we're car reviewers and have the unique opportunity to be able to test each and every one of these vehicles out, um, you know, we figured we compile a list and with our favorite options of the class. So if you have about $100,000 burning a <laughs> hole in your pocket, uh, which top SUV should you get? Well, you're about to find out. All right, so let's get things started here. Our ninth spot is going to be the Lexus LX570. Yeah. This is a very popular luxury three row uh, because of just how capable it is and how nice it is. Yeah. There's really, no, well, there might be one other thing on this list, but that has the capability <laughs> of, as you already say, there's nothing else on this list. But, there's probably, uh, the capability of this thing is basically crazy. It's based on the Land Cruiser, so you have all that capability, plus you have all the extra Lexus luxury, so that really just makes a lethal combination. Yeah. Now, with the LX, you have a lot of buttons here on the center console. This, of course, is your remote touch interface with the pad. Uh, behind that, we've got a lot of buttons controlling the off-road stuff because this is a very, or it's based on the Land Cruiser, so it's very off-road worthy. So the big knobs right here in the middle, these are basically for your on-road drive modes as well as your off-road drive modes, including things like your crawl control. Off to the side, you also have your uh, little toggle for the four-wheel drive controls, and then we also have a toggle for the height adjustable suspension. So coming in at number eight on our list is going to be the Lincoln Navigator. Uh, this vehicle is really a great all-rounder. Um, it has a fantastic third row. I still think the third row is unrivaled from any other vehicle, period. It's incredible with the reclining seats. Um, and you can't even get it in a black label form that really has a lot of luxury into it. The only reason it didn't rank a little bit higher would be it's getting a touch, touch dated with some of the technology like the eight inch center display. Um, that's a little bit small for a vehicle that costs as much as the Navigator. <laughs> and sitting back in the third row. If you couldn't tell, I'm very, very comfortable. And that's because this third row is probably hands down the best third row. And I don't, I don't say that all the time. This is probably the best third row in any vehicle. Uh, you have 42 inches of rear leg room, 37 inches of rear head room. And as you can see, look at my thighs. This is as good as a second row seat in most vehicles. I have tons of thigh support. This is really a phenomenal uh, third row. Moving on down the list to our number seven slot, we have the GMC Yukon Denali. Now, of course, some of you guys might be thinking, oh, GMC, that's not a luxury brand. <laughs> okay, whatever, think what you want to say, but Denali itself really is a luxury brand. We've been in this vehicle, it has as much luxury as the things on this list, and the price tag is pretty much there as well. Um, this thing is, frankly, just a really great vehicle. Uh, you have all the space of the new generation of GM trucks, tons of luxury, um, you know, it, you even have an air suspension. So <laughs> there's just like a lot of bougie to this truck and it looks really great as well. Now once you get fully into this cabin, if you didn't think this was a luxury SUV, you will certainly be convinced. So across all of your upper dashboard with this Denali, you have a full leather covering that goes all the way to the windshield. Of course, you have a stitching detail, and as you move down below that, we have open pore wood that runs through the middle. You also have more leather that comes through here, wraps around, even goes over by the uh, shifter and the push button start. As you move down, more leather. You have some really nice textured real aluminum and open pore wood all through the middle areas. Next up, we have the Mercedes GLS. 
If you're a loyal subscriber, you probably watched our review on this not too long ago. Um, and this is really a great, great vehicle. Um, it's hard to beat a Mercedes-Benz, especially when you're talking about the S-Class of SUVs. Um, it's really a great product. The only thing I can knock it on is the fact that it's a little bit, uh, it's not like super flashy on the outside. So maybe that's up your alley, but the, but powertrain oh oh and yes of and the course the mild yeah. powertrain is really it's miles killer. ahead yeah. of even the other german competition it's just the best that you can get it really really is <laughs> nice um as you'll hear us talk about throughout this test drive this powertrain is one of our absolute favorites. It is so incredibly smooth. They might be the smoothest powertrain that you can get in any vehicle. It's incredible. And speaking of competition to the GLS, the X7, <laughs> that's definitely yep. a vehicle that comes to mind. And that's what we have in our next slot. Uh, this is a vehicle, again, of course, large and luxurious. That's a given in this segment. But you have something that has a lot of road presence. You have that big grill that really yeah. stands out. You have all these different choices you can pick with design. And then the interior is just like, oh my goodness, luxurious. <laughs> Even yeah. in the third row, you have heated seats. Sure, climate, climate control. <laughs> I'm like, what? who That's even thinks stuff. of that type of stuff? And uh, a lighted moonroof, it's crazy. Gotta love the X7. So like I already mentioned, this one is special because this is made of glass. So it is really beautiful. Uh, something you definitely don't see in most cars and just kind of depending on which angle you view it you can see that x in there kind of moves three-dimensionally really a slick feature now coming in at slot number four is going to be the range rover land rover um, we'd be remiss not to put this vehicle on the list we ha actually have not reviewed this vehicle yet um, so don't you know crucify me here about this but this is really just a fantastic uh, product. It's maybe more off-road capable than the LX, which is why we couldn't say that earlier. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it really just balances a lot of off-road capability with the luxury, the ability to tow. Um, this is a great product and a lot of people really love the Range Rover looks. Okay, and now we're getting to the nitty-gritty, the top three. So at this number three position, we have the Jeep Wagoneer. Yep. Now, we haven't personally fully reviewed this vehicle, but to a certain extent, you can just tell <laughs> when you look at something yeah. that's just so, like, out there. This thing is basically a concept luxury SUV, but it's coming to the real world and coming soon. You've got things like displays that just cover across the whole dash for, like, every single person to play with. You just have bonkers amounts of luxury. Um, to say, call this an exciting product would really be an understatement. Yeah. Alrighty, and coming in the number two slot. You know this has got to be a great vehicle if it ranks in the number two slot. <laughs> uh, it's the Mercedes G-Wagon. Um, I mean, I cannot say enough good things about this vehicle. Don't hate on it until you've been it in person. I was one of those people that thought that this G-Wagon was a little bit uh, stupid because it cost so much money. Um, but after you've been in it, you understand why it costs so much money. It is a tank on wheels and nothing else in the world is engineered the way it is. You take off and the door locks sound like a bank vault. It's amazing. And if you have the money and can find one, a G-Wagon is a fantastic option. Now, since we're over here looking at the doors, I've got to do the thing where I shut the door and let you listen to it. I mean, that is the type of thing that people pay so much money for. Just the way these doors sound is insane. And let's finish it off with a luxury SUV you probably have noticed has been missing up until this point. The new Cadillac Escalade. Uh, that's what we have in the number one slot today because this is a product that's just so exciting. People have been clamoring over this. Yeah. Um, I mean, you can't hardly even look at one in person because they're yeah. selling so fast. 
you have insane insane amount of luxury of course but you have uh, just a lot of new changes that they added for this new generation that really take the Escalade to another level of luxury than it's ever been before things like your air suspension um, you know just the the display that goes across the entire uh, dashboard it's so high tech 36 speaker uh, audio system and the really great thing about this Escalade is that it really doesn't cost much more than um, the average thing on this list you're looking at probably a hundred thousand mate fully loaded about a hundred and twenty thousand but this is not like a uh, Bentley pr price tag it is still a relatively attainable price point um, I mean w compared to the what we've been talking about and it really just has everything your family could ever want plus the ability to tow but guys check out the cabin in this sport platinum Wow, wow, wow. Absolutely stunning, even more so than the premium luxury that we saw a few months ago. Super beautiful, amazing leather quality, um, and don't forget about those awesome AKG speakers built right into the headrest. But most impressively, if we click the AR camera, this entire thing transforms into a live view of what's in front of your vehicle, and it is extremely, extremely high resolution. Um, very impressive. Of course, since it has augmented reality navigation, uh, it will also pop up different directions and stuff and lay them right onto the display right in front of you. So it makes navigating extremely easy. Okay, so that concludes our list today of luxury SUVs. Of course, uh, you know, not everyone can afford something on this list, but it's still <laughs> fun because it's also an aspirational list. Yep. You can one day want to afford one of the things on this list. And these are definitely the top picks uh, for sure, standing out in just sheer luxury and sheer capability that basically nothing else on the market can match. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful and helpful. And make sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this as well as reviews of all of these products that we mentioned in this uh, video. Yeah. Take care and see you next time.